Hello, welcome back to Erica City Welsh Garden. Today I am down the allotment and as you can see, I have not really been down here for the last month or so and things are starting to get really out of control. Um, but my kale is looking okay, despite a couple of the plants being pretty munched and most of the plants having quite a lot of holes, um, I will be getting quite a few harvests from that over the winter. So I'm quite pleased. Um, but you know, over on this side, the grass is coming in and um, you can't even see the pathways at the moment. So quite a lot of work needs to be done over the next week so I can get it in shape, ready for those onions to go in. Um, but today I'm gonna be getting on with a couple of tasks. The first task is to harvest these eight buckets of potatoes that I've got. Now, um, I was really hoping that I would be harvesting these maybe a month or two ago and I would be doing this really great reveal where I had these super monster potatoes and I'd grown them in a bucket and they were brilliant but that is not the case. The variety of potatoes that I grew here are Sarpomera, and they were from Save Seeds that I grew last year. Um, but the compost that I used was a peat-free compost from um, you know, the big DIY shop that everybody goes to. And whether it had you know, residual chemicals um, in or it was just too woody and not composted enough i don't know but the potatoes never really seem to thrive some of them are still growing though but i think the best thing to do is just empty them see what potatoes i get today so we've got some for the kitchen and then i can um just you know get them tidied up for the winter and then once i've done that i need to head into the polytunnel here my area of the polytunnel um has lots of beans in and I had some tomatoes. Tomatoes didn't do very well at all, but I've let the beans grow and dry on the pod. So hopefully I'll have enough for a couple of meals and then I can get that ready for onions too. So although the variety of potatoes that I've grown in these buckets is Sarpomera, which are renowned for getting absolutely ginormous and being blight resistant, because they have just not done very well at all. I am predicting that I'm gonna get pretty tiny potatoes today and they're gonna look similar to a new potato, but we will see. I'm gonna tip um, each bucket into one of these and then get any of the potatoes that I've harvested in this one here. So let's see how we get on. All right, here's the moment of truth. So, so far, oh, one potato. So as I predicted, they are pretty tiny. I'm just gonna put the compost straight back in the buckets once I've harvested them. Oh, there's a carrot in there. That is probably left over from my carrot harvest um, from the overwinter ones in the polytunnel. Right, I think that's pretty safe to say that this one is done now. Here's the second bucket. A few more potatoes, but hardly any. Well, I'm not going to bore you with this. I'm going to get on and harvest all of these and then we can have a look at the end to see what we've got. Well, that's the last bucket of potatoes harvested. And as you can see, it's been an absolutely shocking harvest really don't understand what's gone wrong this year. Um, if you're new to my channel, I promise you I do know how to grow potatoes and I do know how to do gardening, but it just seems at the moment, every single video, I'm just kind of highlighting the failures of this year. And I really struggled last year, especially with lockdown. You know, I didn't have childcare. I, I couldn't get to the allotment very much, but this year I think it's been even worse um, with things going on with work and everything like that. So I'm not gonna get too depressed about it. I'm just gonna get on with it now and kind of focus on getting the allotment ready for a really good year. Um, you know, next season. Um, but now I'm gonna finish off here. We'll head over to the polytunnel and I can show you how bad it looks in there. So 
So here we are at my section of the polytunnel and as you can see it's looking very overgrown but this area is just one meter square and so productive. Unfortunately the four tomato plants that I put in here this year never really took off. I put them in I think towards the end of May and it was just too cold and they got really stunted. Um, but I underplanted all of those tomatoes with beans and this complete jungle of a mess here is lots of bean plants that I've let dry um, or let the pods dry on the plants. So they are now ready for harvesting and I'm really um, looking forward to seeing how many beans I get from the kind of this area the variety is called gok and they came from the heritage seed library so i'll definitely be making sure i save lots um, of seed next year and having just this very small one meter square section in our shared polytunnel is what really inspired me to get my polytunnel at home and to get my greenhouse up because this area has been so productive. Last year I managed to get some great tomatoes and also that bumper crop of onions. So now hopefully I can get this area kind of cleared today harvest all of those um, beans and then get it ready for planting with some more onions. Now I have never once since having my allotment done any um, kind of conditioning to this soil whatsoever so it's pretty depleted now with so many harvests from it so I think I'm going to get something put down um, kind of in the autumn ready to give it a good feed for the onions and then carry it through next year. So I think what I'm going to focus on now is just pulling up all of the bean plants and some of the weeds and then I can focus next week on getting it ready and planting the onions. So I'm just going to pull up these bean plants and leave the dried beans on there and then I can sort it out later on when I'm at home. I've never actually been successful growing beans for drying so it'd be really interesting to see you know what the weight of all these beans is and if it's actually really worth it wow there seems to be so many pods on here though oh, i can't wait to pod them all wow i think that is all of them up now so i'm just going to get them shoved in this bag I'm going to take these home and sort them out maybe in a couple of days but I'm going to make sure that I don't put any of um, this stuff on my compost heaps at home because I've got mare's tail in here and I do not have mare's tail at home so I do not want to contaminate my garden. I can't believe how bad this mare's tail is this year. I'll admit, I haven't weeded it, but it seems like it's really out of control this year. I've had loads of it come up at the allotment as well, which I've never ever had mare's tail. So I'm not sure what's happened there. Well, there you go. A really disappointing harvest of potatoes first thing, which I was anticipating so it's not the end of the world and then a harvest of dried beans which I'm really excited about podding and seeing you know how many I get from the amount of plants that I grew here It'd be really interesting so I can plan then for next year hopefully I can get a really good crop going in the polytunnel you know this area really has inspired me to get my undercover um, areas at home sorted so if anything you know I've, I've learned things this year and stuff um, but over the next week I think I'm going to be coming down the allotment most days and I think I'll bring the camera along kind of um, do a little bit of a video diary over the next week of getting things in order at the plot. I know this year's been a little bit funny and I've really struggled the last month or two keeping up with the um, the quantity of videos and um, my schedule days usually it's a Monday but it's been all over the place but 
things are calming down getting a little bit quieter so i should be able to resume back on the mondays at seven o'clock if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos i really hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please click that subscribe button down below um, and hit the notification bell so you are notified of all of my latest videos as ever youtube have a couple of videos up now on the screen that they think you'll like so please go ahead and watch those and i'll catch up with you in the next episode bye